Hey, everybody. Fat Bird Vines here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. I feel like I'm too far over in the picture. <laughs> Maybe you should like scoot over some. Okay. All right. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, Laura. Happy Friday. You were off today. I was. I had a busy Friday today. You did? Mm -hmm. What are we drinking? It's flipping and sipping. What are we drinking? Chardonnay tonight, friends. We have Chardonnay in just normal glasses. <laughs> no fancy glasses tonight. Yeah. Normal glasses. That's right. How's everybody doing? Let's see. We've got lots of friends here already. We've got Jamie. Helen. I bet you like that one. I do. Do you not like it? Not as much. Mm -mm. It's not sweet enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Katie. Peterson. Unico. There used to be this cartoon when I was a kid. Uh -huh. You won't remember this. Nikki, do you remember Unico? No, it was anime. Yeah, it was anime. No. It was it was like this little bitty unicorn critter, and it was this movie that I had taped for some reason. Like my dad used to tape me random things that came on TV. <laughs> and so I had this like just random tape of all these TV shows and Unico was on one of them. And it was this little unicorn. I was going to say, was it a unicorn? Yeah, but in this particular movie, there were like all of these human puppets that came to life. It was kind of creepy. Yikes. Yeah. And there was this really weird... Oh, man, I could probably think of the guy's name if I thought about it hard enough. But yeah, anyway, that was really weird. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. Hey, Marion. Welcome from uh, over at Facebook. I don't know. There's like a little nap. Yeah, there's a bug in here. <laughs> All right. How you doing, Carrie? Welcome. Jamie. About the tear oh, what? tear up some Oreo. <laughs> what is it? Jamie had a premiere today, Mary Beth. <laughs> On my lunch hour, she premiered her video. Really? The second video from the estate hall. Yeah. It was awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It really was. Jamie makes me mad. I'm yeah. mad at her anyway. You know what I did when her little intro came on? It what? was premiering. And I put in the comments, let's get wasted. <laughs> <laughs> let's get wasted. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I don't think I got a bad batch of acid. I really think I remember that Unico was a thing. <laughs> I don't think I made that up. Because if I did make that up, there's something wrong. <laughs> it's really quiet in here, by the way. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. We don't usually have things going on. It's just an observation. Yeah. <laughs> so, I went to some yard sales today. I can't believe it. Your day off and you got up in time to go to a yard sale. I didn't and and find anything. Yeah. I really enjoy my days off because I really enjoy sleeping. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> and I tell you what, I got up and went to a yard sale. I went to several yard sales today. My mom and I went. She met me and we went just driving around Paducah together. That's pretty impressive. It was fun. We had a really good day. Do you want to go tomorrow? No. <laughs> I want to have a sleep in day. <laughs> You can go tomorrow, and then well, we'll compare and see This is always my dilemma. Is it? Yes, because I want to sleep in, and I want to go to the yard sales, and yeah. that just does not match. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry. But I had a pretty good yard sale day, so I'm going to show my yard sale haul after we do the Fat Bird Five. And if you're brand new, if you're brand new to flipping and sipping, we want to know that. So let us know in the chat if you're brand new, because we want to say hello to you. Marion, today is my daughter's 40th birthday. She had to work, and now we're spending the night with all the Fat Bird family. Can you wish her a happy birthday? She's kind of oh, down. Absolutely. What's her name? Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Marion's daughter. Wait, I have a graphic. <laughs> Wait. Oh, do we? Yeah. I've got to find it, though. Oh, where is it? I know I have one. There we go. Happy birthday. Oh, Mary Beth. That's so nice. Thanks. And... Happy birthday from Fat Bird Finds. Yeah, find her. Go in the comments and find her name. Somebody okay. surely will tell us. Okay. Her name. Okay, I'm waiting for it. It's my birthday, too, someone said. Really? Where do you see that? Um, <gasps> I'm brand new to your live. Welcome, Hi, Paula. Paula. We're really glad that you're here. Thanks for coming. Effie is brand new as well. Welcome. We Welcome. really appreciate it. I didn't see um, it's my birthday, too. Um, it was Laura Moon 
something. Moon woman. It's my birthday too. <laughs> Happy birthday. Wait. Graphic. Happy birthday. Yay. Awesome. You know what we could do? We could. I don't see the name of the person whose birthday it is, but oh no, I will stop for time to... because does anybody want to see a new Max picture? Well, no, because this comment is funny. Why don't people have yard sales for 1 to 5 p.m.? You know what? That would be great. It's so great because the other day I went to one. You know what? You know that day I got the Tadpoles book? Yeah. That yard sale was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They had it all out everywhere. Wow. Yeah. It was awesome. They didn't have any stuff that we wanted. They right. had all kids stuff. Well, wow. Yeah. That's very progressive. It really was. I was just amazed. Marion says her name is, do you think that's Jackie or JC? JC. Happy birthday, JC. Happy birthday, JC. Awesome. Watch it be Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> anyway. Happy birthday, Jamie. You're a liar and I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you because you have all the good stuff. Oh, it is pronounced Jackie. I was right. Great. Happy birthday, Jackie. I worked Jackie. with someone who says JC. And really? And name is spelled that way. That's funny. Yeah. Happy birthday. So, Nikki, it's oh, not your look, birthday. it's Nikki's birthday, too. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot your present. <laughs> now what? Do you want to do present? No. <laughs> you don't. Vinny wants to see my ex. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. You need to prepare yourself, everyone, just because this is the cutest one yet. Okay. You want to show it so you can show it good? Just real quick. Okay. My next yard sale will be from 1 to 5 p.m. I'll serve cheap wine, too. It'll make peeps relax and buy more. No kidding. <laughs> That's a great idea. No kidding. We, we need to do it. Let's do it. Look at that oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. I cannot take it. Look at those little cheeks. That's the latest one. That's the newest one. That's like yesterday at five o'clock. Oh something. my gosh, it's so cute. Ah, he's a cutie. My goodness, so sweet. <laughs> Can't take it. So guys, if you're brand new, we do we sell five items at fifteen after nine. So you've got less than ten minutes to go. At the beginning of flipping and sipping, we just kind of say hello to everybody and just chat about our week. Um, and then we're going to sell a few items here shortly. So, yeah, don't go away. Someone likes our black and white t-shirt thing oh, happening. I didn't even realize this they did that. This is Jeffrey's shirt. Yeah. From Real Nifty Vintage. Yeah. And, and I have on this. This is the Vintage Rescue Squad shirt. Yeah, this is Misty's shirt. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. <laughs> My mom says Max is a sugar lump. Oh, he is. Very much a sugar lump. Oh, he's so cute. I'm sorry you had a busy day today at work. Yeah, well, you know, it was the third, mm -hmm. and it was um, a weekend. It was a Friday, and it was a long weekend, so it was a holiday, mm -hmm. and people, that just all builds in together. Yeah. Yeah, everybody comes to the bank. I understand. Yes. Sugar Bridges, welcome. How you doing? Hey, Sugar Bridges. I was just about to say, where's Michelle? But Michelle is hanging out with Misty. She is. They are, so they're doing it. They're, they're having like, a party out and about, man. I was um, on Marco Polo for, uh, yesterday or something, and they had just met up with uh, Karen Radford and Helen Casey and um, Karen. Oh, you said Karen Radford. I can't think of who There else. was another person there. I can't. Think. I'll think of it in a second. <laughs> So sure, that was fun. <laughs> sugar Womp. I like Sugar Womp better, <laughs> Catherine. Sugar Womp. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. Get Why do they come to the bank? Don't they have PayPal, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that Saturdays at the bank should not be anymore. Like, yeah. there is enough ways to get your money and to spend money and to do all the things where you don't have to have somebody there for three hours on a Saturday. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Should we show that's our just my vote. Trusty traveler box? Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that real quick. Plus I want to show well, we'll see. We'll see what else we show here before the thing. So we were lucky enough this week to receive a trusty traveler box. And it's box number one. That has to mean something. It's box number one. It means we're number one after because Angela. 
Yeah, because <laughs> in the rules, I think there's a lot of them. I think there's a lot of these boxes going around. I think so. I think so, too. So we received a trusty traveler box from uh, Angela Marksbury, and this originated from Patrick, trusty huckster mercantile. So this originated from him, and the idea is he started this box with five small items inside. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a chain letter. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So he sent out a bunch of these, and if you receive one, you're supposed to take an item out and leave an item. Yes. And then send it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So now we have to send it to somebody. I know. Do you right? guys have recommendations on who we should send this to? <laughs> Hi, Antiquing Charlie. Should we show what's in here? I don't know. I don't think so. It should be a secret uh -huh. for whoever gets it next. Yep. Well, just so you know, these things are going around, and um, well, we're going to have to pick somebody yeah. to send it to. I know. It's stressful to me, because I want to send it to everybody. <laughs> hello, and hello. Well, Jocelyn, thanks for joining us tonight. Good to see you. Hey, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, let me just tell you something. I know it just like these no, doesn't really need to be said, but I have so enjoyed your videos. I mean, I've enjoyed them from the beginning, but I've really enjoyed them here lately. And I absolutely love two things. I love the sold videos where you go back and, you know, edit over your existing videos and then say what they sell for. And what are you going to say? I know what you're going to say. I am in love with the black wall yes, in the studio. That's exactly what I thought you were gonna say. Holy cow. It looks so good. If you, you could have told me that idea and I would have been like, oh, that's kind of cool. But when I saw it, good grief. Like your stuff that you're showing looks so good in front of that black background. I'm like, Mary Beth, where's the black wall? I mean, right here, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna paint this one. Yeah. I'll paint one at my house, but we're not at my house. It's a very good idea. Then Jocelyn's gonna go, oh, I had the black wall. <laughs> Look, now they've painted a black wall. <laughs> But I'm in love with that. It looks way better than I ever would have expected it to. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Love it. And the new intro. Love that too. <laughs> I was so hesitant for the black. Well, it works. Uh, my gosh. You know what? One time I went to um, one of my mom's customers' houses and, you know, she has the customers in town that have the nice fancy houses. Right. With her little fancy things that she sells. But one time I went and these this lady had painted, not only did she have, I mean, not every wall, but not only did she have a few black walls, which in the eighties like that wasn't really done very much, but she had every bit of her, um, you know, molding and stuff was black. Really? Yeah. Not white, but black. Wow. It was fantastic. That's really cool. It yeah, it was. Um, lady Sarah McCallum, she had one of the really nice, uh, houses over on Jefferson Street. Did you call her Lady Sarah? That was her name, Lady. <gasps> You're kidding. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. wow. Stop it. I'm, I'm serious. Oh, what a great name. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, Katie interjected that uh, the the trusty the trusty traveler, that's hard for me to say, is like geocaching. Yes. So yeah, if you don't know what geocaching is, it's kind of like a community treasure hunt on your phone. Like people hide boxes somewhere and like you take something from the box and leave it. And anyway, it's kind of fun. Yes. But it's very similar to that. Thank you. Yes. Lady, can I rename myself Lady? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> what did Jocelyn say? Oh, my friend Brandon adds our soul videos and he did the intro and his channel is Overland Exposures. Fantastic. Very good. Both excellent. I mean, top notch. Very cool. Um, yeah, and so what was I going to say? Oh, when we send the box out, we're going to have to um, notify the person ahead of time to make sure they haven't had like 20 boxes or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you get to wear a lady gown? <laughs> She's like, I would like to become lady. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> That's great. nice. Yours is just at the end instead of the beginning. You just flip it around. Lady Dorman. <laughs> That's very formal. You'll have to get out like your silver platters and, you know, walk around in your lady gown. Jamie, do you have a lady gown? Did you get a lady gown? I don't think you did. <laughs> Somebody send her a lady gown, quick. It is almost time. Please nobody tell that story with Crazy Lamp Lady on here <laughs> about oh the gosh. lady gowns. That's really embarrassing, <laughs> but pretty funny. Okay. 
It is almost time. Oh, wait. You know what I didn't do? I didn't plug up my laptop. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. All right. You can talk for just a second. Helen Casey says she'd like a trusty traveler box. Well, you know what? If you will email me, I don't want to have a free for all in the comments or anything, but if you guys email, we'll take, you know, we'll just draw one of somebody who emails us and says that they would like to take a, take a try at that. <laughs> Vinny, I know you're still laughing at the, <laughs> the lady going, now I can't remember what it really said. It said I'm going to uh, tell it on myself. I'll just tell it. What did it say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Long gown. That's what it said. <laughs> yeah. I guess I was reading it without my glasses and I had the, we had these, uh, vintage, uh, new old stock nightgowns and <laughs> I kept saying they were lady gowns <laughs> making a big deal out of it. Like I thought that was so cool. It's like, they didn't even say that. They said long gowns, it but it was so, so funny. funny yet you slash embarrassing. Oh my God. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. I totally forgot to plug that. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Vinny, Laura was so embarrassed. It made it 10 times funnier. Yeah, I mean, I was red. It was ridiculous because it's just so funny. It's like I wasn't paying attention. I just knew that's what it said. Like, why would it say that? Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right. Holly says it was a hilarious. Yes. Yeah. Were they striped lady gowns? Don't oh, say yes. striped. They were striped. <laughs> Are you ready? Um, Sugar Bridges, I was just going to answer her really quick. No, so I'm not ready. Oh, is there a market for them? Yes, if they're cheap enough, right? You can sell, my mom always says, uh, you can sell anything if the, if the price is right. That's oh, true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Christy Williams, I love the lady gowns. Okay, guys, it is time for the Fat Bird Five. So if you've been to any other live sale, you probably know how this is going to work. Each of our items that we have over here ready are going to have a price and an item number. If you are the first person to type the item number into the chat, then you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. Um, make sure that you are in live chat instead of top chat. If you feel like you might be a little bit behind in the comments, uh, you can go out of the video and come back in. And that way you'll be all caught up. Um, if you are a winner tonight, we need three pieces of information from you. We need you to email us uh, to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your YouTube name along with your real name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address. And we typically do uh, invoices on Sundays, but since this is a holiday weekend, it might be Monday. True. True so that. We're off work on Monday. True that. Yes. So you, you never know. You're getting a little love for your earrings in the oh, comments. Thanks. Like you're not your usual style. I thought I would mix it up a little bit tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Did I say everything? I think you got it all. Did you do this? Three pieces of information. Your name, <laughs> PayPal, email address, and your mailing address. Yes, and just uh, spoiler alert, we're playing Pictionary tonight. We're playing Pictionary later. Yep. So you don't want to go away. Because if you follow us on Instagram, you'll know this, but someone gifted Mary Beth colored markers. Yes. Because she wanted colored markers. I'm going to show that later. I know. Did I ruin it? You did. I did. Thanks a lot. Sorry. All right, here we go. It's time for the Fat Bird Five. Okay. This just in. Laura just went to go get the items. She left me here all alone. Usually you do that. I'm going to pick this time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and thank you to everybody who came to our sale this past week. Yes. With Pirate Chicks Vintage. It was their very first debut on YouTube and yes. they knocked it out of the park. They did. They were Instagram sellers and y'all weren't those prices good? Like their prices were fantastic and all their stuff yeah. was so cute. Yeah. Man, they started off with like a blue seventies poodle. Yeah. That was so adorable. Yeah. And it just kept, it was just that good all the way through. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, they are awesome. We really loved having them on here. I bet they'll come back. <laughs> I hope spotlight. so. I hope so. It was so much fun. Oh, somebody's like spotlights. Like spotlight. Oh, sorry. Nikki's, <laughs> Nikki's yelling at me about spotlights. And boom, there they are. Jocelyn, I don't know if you missed my grandbaby or not, but, you know, I could be I could be talked into showing his picture again, you know, if you, anybody needs to see it. <laughs> okay, first item we have. And we just bought this from George, the antique nomad, last weekend at his estate sale. Yeah, we went to see George. He had a big um, 
sale because there was a big highway sale that he was in the middle of. Yeah. And so he combined that with an estate sale. And these were there. They're so cute. So as you can see, I mean, they don't look exactly the same, but I think they do match. Look at their eyes, the shape of their eyes. That's the same. So even though they're a little bit different, I do think they are supposed to go together. Okay, I want to see if anybody can guess what's special about these. These are, they're cream and sugar, but can anybody tell what's special about those? Because they are so cute. Now, the cold paint is coming off, mm -hmm. obviously, but I don't know. Things like that, to me, it's just charming. I just think it makes them look antique and cute and vintage and adorable. Yeah. So, Katie Garnett. Hi, Katie Garnett. So, yeah. Are they Holt Howard? I don't think so. This one's not marked, they, and that one says Japan. Yeah, they're marked Japan. There's a sticker. So, they are fat birds. <laughs> yes, they I are. Know, right? But, but here's the cool thing about them. So, you open up, and there's the, the sugar, and of course, that pour, the cream pours out there. But the tops of them are salt and pepper. Stop How it. How cute is that? Stop it. Isn't that adorable? This one has its cork. That one doesn't. Let me show the bottom of that one. There's the bottom of that one. It does not have a cork. <laughs> but just so adorable. Love it. Love it, Laura. That one is a little bit, I was just looking at the condition here. That one's just got a little something on the. They are in a very loved condition. Yes, they are. But they're not, there's no like cracks or breaks or anything in there. Right. The little paint just needs yep. attention. <laughs> and he needs a cork. But yeah. Highly functional. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys. So the chicken and rooster salt and pepper slash cream and sugar are going to be $16. $16 for the pair. And it's number four. Which one's you and which one's me? That one's me. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know. Look, this one looks meaner. Maybe that one's you. That's why it's you. <laughs> $16 <laughs> for the pair, and it's number four. <laughs> Matchy matches, Juliet says. So cute. Awesome. Show Max again. Okay. You twisted my arm. I, I, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. So the first person I have on my end, and again, we do have to go with what I see. Let me just pull up Laura's phone real quick so I can make sure it matches. Oh. I'm just going to be better safe than sorry. Here's Max, by the way. <laughs> there he is. My very first grandbaby ever. I'm a yaya. What do you have? <laughs> um, Me too. Okay. Susie QGD. That's who we've got. Thanks, Susie QGD. Awesome. Susie Q. Okay. You got it. You did it. Nice. You ready for something else? Ready. Okay. What do you want next? Whatever you want. I am flexible. Okay. How about this little guy? Love it. Just while we're on the salt and pepper. Yes. Uh, trail here. Love it. <laughs> okay. So we have a bit of a disclaimer about this guy. So my mom went to a yard sale a couple weeks ago and found this little cow He's a pepper shaker. <laughs> He's so cute. So he obviously needed to be holding something. He's Mark Japan on the bottom. He's yellow. My color is just a little bit faded. Is he yellow? Yeah. It's like a yellowish green, right? Yeah, but he's kind of green too. Greenish yellow. The spotlights are making... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked him up and he comes with a milk can. Like a milk can with a face on it. It's kind of an anthropomorphic milk can. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find one anywhere. Yeah. But I found like a replacement. So this is just a little milk can that says milk on it with the stopper. And <laughs> give him a trash can. <laughs> so he's holding his milk. Oh, so that's so cute. The disclaimer is this is not his original milk can. Yes. So this is just, this is for fun. Yeah. This is for fun. We are telling you that up front. They did not go together. <laughs> we have replaced it. It's just like give him a trash can. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> you, you can put whatever you want to in there. That's right. Yeah. If you had like a little aspirin bottle, you could put that there. Whatever you want. But I think it's too cute. I think you did a good job finding his little replacement there. But he's so 70s and kitschy. Yeah. So that's the salt shaker. He's the pepper shaker. 
Very sweet. Look <laughs> at his little face. He has a little heart on his cheek. Oh. And again, he does have Japan with the stopper on the bottom. Okay. So, um, he's just $12 and he's pretty big. Yeah, he's he a is. a pretty good size. He'd be really cute, you yeah. know, in your little collection. So, he's $12 and who knows, you might come across a milk can someday. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, $12 and it's number nine. $12, number nine on that sweet little guy. What a cutie. Okay, I just have to interject. I've been watching in the chat. They're talking about this weird thing where people want to like, like they'll say that something's so cute they just want to eat it up or eat it with a spoon or eat it. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's a real thing. That's, that's something that people do. It's weird, isn't it? I had, a, I had a cousin when I was little and it was so cute. He, when he saw something that was really cute or he was really excited, he would just be like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so that's kind of what you do when you see something so cute. It's like, oh, I just want to eat it. You're funny. <laughs> Warren Hart. Warren, you did it. Thanks. Oh, Warren Hart. The cow is coming your way. Got it. Thanks, Warren. And again, I, I think our first two buyers are names that I'm not super familiar with. So we will um, show our email address here in just a moment. But it's fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Super easy. Yep, and it's in the description of the video. <laughs> okay, now I have this sweet little art glass vase. <laughs> They're still talking about that in the chat. I love the chat. <laughs> That's Laura's favorite thing. I just live for the chat. You guys are so funny. Okay, so this is nine inches tall. Obviously, I had to buy this when I saw this because it's orange. Yes. But it has condition. But not really. Issues. Not on the surface <laughs> it's internal so i doubt that you'll ever be able to see but inside yeah you can see just a little bit inside there there's some cracking and i'm not sure if that happened when the piece was made it's almost like little spider webs in there but you can't feel it on the surface right right it's all internal Hi, Mimi Ray. Welcome. She just uh, assembled across our channel. Hey, so Mimi. We're having a little sale, and then we have, then we play some games, and we uh, chat, and so, and we show some yard sale hauls and thrift hauls. So just hang in there with us. So again, you can kind of see those cracks. Looks red. Yeah, no, it's not. It's it's, it's orange. orange. Here we go. Thank you. Does that help? It's it's orange like her vase is back here. You know what I like about this. This is one that you wouldn't be afraid to use. Oh, yeah. You know, because it already has a few little condition issues. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I had some hydrangeas, and I was like, Mary Beth, they're blue. Let's put them in one of your vases. And she's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm not putting anything I'm in those. I'm using those. Yeah. <laughs> putting water in those. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I think that you wouldn't be afraid to use that one. Again, those cracks are internal. I cannot feel them. So... You're going to get a good deal on this. Yeah, it's just $14. 14 bucks. So $14 for this sweet little orange vase. It needs blue flowers. Blue flowers. Number two. $14 and it's number two. Nine inches tall. That was a lot of numbers. Mimi Ray, it's 3.26 a.m. She's popped in from overseas. And oh, wow. Sometimes Charlotte joins us, Mimi. And it's that time for her, too. So you guys can be buddies. You guys can be <laughs> English buddies, 3 a.m. friends. <laughs> but I don't see her tonight. Yeah, Charlotte's Stretch probably. Marks. Jocelyn's helping us. Stretch marks. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thanks Jocelyn. <laughs> Jamie said, how dare you suggest using a vase for flowers? <laughs> Marty Herford. Marty oh. Herford. Marty Herford. Thanks, Marty. Marty, you were at our sale the other night. I think I have package going out to you. Maybe today, maybe yesterday. One of those two things. I'm going to try to find an airplane. And Susie Q, you said that you probably sent your information weeks ago. Probably. It probably just doesn't stick in my head. I've probably got it in my file that says buyer registrations. So probably so, but you might just send it one more time. But I will certainly look for it. And you know what? Speaking of flowers, using... <laughs> Somebody said, how dare you use the vase for flowers? I saw uh, Laura Caldwell's video this week, her new video, and she went uh, antique shopping and got the little um, metal flower frogs like I love. I just bought one from Katie at Vintage and Vinyl, and I bought some from Carrie. 
And you can use those on your shelves for paper ephemera, but you can really use them for flowers. And I thought it would be harder than it was. And she showed how she uses them. It was so cute. It awesome. was super cute. She just put them in there and like, she had like, you know, some of those, um, you would like it, like a minimalist look, you mm -hmm. know, like an Ikebana, did you say Ikebana? Ikebana? I don't know. Vases, the Japanese style of flower arranging where you just use like two or three stems. Mm -hmm. They're perfect for that. That's and they're cool. so cute. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Katie, I did get my flower frog. I just got it. I think I, I got it a few days ago, but it was at Mary Beth's house. So I just got it. Super, super cute. Yes. Love it. Thank you so much. Speaking of cute, look at him. Oh, I like him. This is a little horse planter. It gives me like Art Deco vibes with that little swoosh behind him. Isn't he sweet? Yeah. He's so cute. He has a tiny bitty flaw. I think that's a flaw in the finish. That's not a chip or a crack right there where my fingernail is. Mm -hmm. Just kind of a flaw in the finish. But look how sweet he is. I like him. He's very pretty colors. I like that yellow. And look how good that looks with an air plant. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Doesn't that look cute? Hi, Lena Ray. It's very cute. Say thank you again for your earrings. Oh, thanks. I'm Lena. trying to watch the chat for you. Thanks. <laughs> or that was Lois. Thanks, Lois. So a little yellow horse with the green behind him. Yeah, he's so cute. He's $15. He is not marked, but there's the bottom. And there's the back. Yeah, the bottom shows you that it's he's definitely vintage. Of course, mm -hmm. you can tell that by looking at him. Right? Yeah. Okay. So he is, what did I say, $15? Mm -hmm. Is number one. $15, number one, for the sweet little horse. Angela, who's Rapid Dash on Pokemon Go? <laughs> he looks like a little radish, I think. Oh, or maybe. She said that's who he looks like. <laughs> oh, so funny. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they are, what they're called. <laughs> we played that for a hot minute. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and you know what? You want to hear something funny? No. When we were talking to George and Zeno, Zeno was there last weekend at the sale. And uh, Zeno started telling Pokemon Go stories. <laughs> And George was embarrassed. I think he was too. Because Zeno was like, oh yeah, we used to go down the riverfront and blah, blah, blah. And George is like, yeah, well, poor George was busy. Like he's like running laps around us all, like trying to wait on customers, trying to wind up. And put, we, of course we were last at the sale. Of course. And it was hot, you know? And so Zeno was like, George, didn't we George? George. And he was like, <laughs> it was really great. You know, it rolled his eyes. He's like, oh my God, like I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Roylene Zayuma. Thank you so much, Roylene. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Roylene. We got something else? Oh, yeah. We got two more things. Yvonne, I need air plants. You do. They're awesome. I think yeah. you can just order them from Amazon. Yeah, that's where I get mine. Yeah. I think you can get them at Lowe's, too. But, uh, yeah, I get mine just from Amazon. Mike, are you talking about, you said you can paint them too? Paint what? Are you talking about the plants? No, surely not. Surely not. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You guys, what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what they're talking about. Me either. This is our fifth item. And this is a green lidded candy said, dish. Yes. What do you paint them with? I want to know serious? about this. I think I think he's serious. I am checking this for any damage, and I do not see or feel any. So I'll let you hold that. This is Nikki's favorite item. This is Nikki's favorite item. Show the bottom. Oh yeah, it's show really the closer. Pretty. Love it. I should have washed it. Yeah, well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> so yeah. Very cute. This would look really good with like peppermints in it at Christmas. So there you go. Very pretty. I love the lid. I love that like spire on top. I really like that. It's not black. It's green. It's like a dark emerald green color kind of. Will you put your yeah. notebook up behind it? Sure. I can do that. Thanks. 
Obviously, it doesn't glow. No, it does not. And so, oh, here. Yeah. So, it is $21. It's a great price. Yeah, $21. $21. $21. And it's number six. $21, number six. $21. They said, thanks, the white paper helps. You know what? We just need like some little square pieces of foam core. Yeah. Just a white one and a black one. That's a good idea. And then that'll be easier. That's a really good idea. Why don't you get on that? <laughs> succulents are not, I don't care what anybody says, succulents are not quite the same thing as air plants, but succulents are not easy to have. I, I have pretty good luck with mine. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking at one well, over there. Well, the ones in the kitchen are bad, but the ones that I have outside look really good. You're right. Effie. Effie, you're the winner. Thank you so much. Yvonne said, okay, now you girls. Did no, you it's pretty hard to kill a succulent. I've... Okay. Yvonne is like, Laura, they're super easy. <laughs> Well, I need a lesson, and I need to come get it in person. Will you pr please write down Effie Boyd? Or a black wall. <laughs> Jocelyn, you beat me to the black wall. I can never do it now. <laughs> now now everybody will be just like, ha, she saw that on Crazy Land Flighty. Yeah. <laughs> will you please write down Effie Boyd? I'm just kidding. Yeah, You're sure. like falling behind. I'm sorry. Effie So Boyd. those of you who are uh, new buyers and don't know what we need from you so we need your name and your real name no <laughs> your YouTube name and your real name your mailing address and your PayPal email address and you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com yes good job we have a bonus elephant yay bonus yeah. elephant yes oh my god he's so cute look look at his little face look at his little pink trunk so yes, we have. If you if this is the first time you've been here, we usually do five ish items. Yeah, <laughs> it used to be just five items. Sometimes we add some. Tonight we did the true fat bird five. We did five items, and then we have a bonus elephant. Yes, from the very first night, someone asked, "Please, could you just sell one more thing? Just sell an elephant." So now it's a bonus elephant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have all kinds of elephants. Um, some are vintage, some are not vintage. Some they're just they just run the gamut. If it's an elephant, yes. it's a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> and like you could just like put a pin in here or a little flower or whatever you want. Oh, I love his little pink trunk. I do too, and his little ears. Okay, who coined the phrase <laughs> "bonus elephant"? I don't know. Was it Jamie? I don't remember. It was probably Auntie Christie. Well, Michelle asked for the elephant. Yeah, Michelle had a bad date. And a bad evening. And she's like, oh, just sell one more thing. Just sell an elephant. But you're right. She asked for the elephant, but somebody else probably said a bonus elephant. I bet. I bet it was Christy. I don't remember. <laughs> it was me. It was oh, Jamie. Oh, it was Jamie. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamie. I didn't mean to take that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Laura, what do we have on oh, the I'm little sorry. bonus elephant? Here we go. You got to keep me on track. I'm talkative tonight. Mm -hmm. I like it. $12. $12. $12. And it's did you say number zero? Yeah, it's number, number zero. zero. Oh, holy cow. That's what happens when I do the numbers. I come up with number, number zero. Number zero. $12, number it, zero. Is zero really a number? Sure. Is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> That's what I came up with. Oh, look. We have Susie QGD. Awesome. She won two things tonight. She's Thanks, got, Susie Q. She's got the internet going on tonight. Yeah. So thanks, guys. That concludes our Fat Bird 5. Thanks, everybody. But don't go anywhere. Hey, if you're new, look behind. What? Oh, you oh. sat back down. Look, there's Mary Beth's Swung Vase Collection. Yeah. Growing Collection. I'm working on purple next. And everybody, take a minute and tell us what kind of week you've had. We rate them by Swung Vases. Yeah. Did you have a one Swung Vase week? That's not very good. That's bad. That's bad. But maybe you've had a five swung base week and that's pretty darn good. <laughs> my week, my work week was like a one. Oh, that's I had a good. really crappy week at work. Mm. That's not good. Yeah, it was not fun. At least it wasn't a negative 
nine broken swung vases in a dumpster on fire yeah yeah someone told us that they had that kind of week <laughs> so the, mine was not bad i have about i'll, I'll give mine a three that's three. pretty good i Wait. just don't like to go to work i'll give you a three next week will be pretty good right yeah <laughs> that's good but now when we get to today it's always a five today's my favorite oh we've got lots of twos Lots of twos. <laughs> There's a three, Yvonne. Warren gave it a hundred swung vase. That's great. We would have a broken swung vase graphic, but then we'd have to break a vase. Yeah, we can't like, do that. I guess we'll have one when we accidentally knock one of those off. That'll be horrific. Oh, God. You know that's going to happen one day. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> well, it will. I mean, eventually we're going to break something around here. Mine was kids peeking all over the house. Yeah, Jamie's had a rough week, I think. <laughs> Jamie, your your um, estate sale though was one of the was that I guess that was last weekend. So I guess that goes with last week. I started to say that estate sale was really something that has to count for something. Yeah, that's why I'm mad at her. Mm. It's because she gets all the cool stuff. I'm Although cool. I did find some cool stuff today. Hey, Nikki, would you come be my assistant? Would you just kind of like come around this table and hand me some stuff? Uh, Eddie Boyd wants to know about number six. What was item number six? Um, what happened to number six? The oh, who won it? Effie Boyd? Yeah, Effie. I had you on number six. Did I, did I do that wrong? No, you did it right. I, she just asked a couple of times about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Effie, Effie, I have you on that. So, yeah, you were the winner. Is that what she's asking about? Yes. Yeah. She asked, what about number six? Yeah. Twice. Sorry, I didn't see it the first time. But yeah, Effie, I had you as the winner on the number six. Daniel, tackies me. If I could only tell my work story, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> You're welcome, Effie. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if, if you would just like start handing me some stuff. I went to a yard sale today with my mom. Awesome. I went to a few. Yeah. That's so good. So yeah, I wish you would let me wash those. Yeah, I know so they're hard. really dirty, but. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, Effie, you're fine. Don't no apologies. Do I get to say what I paid for them? I don't see why not. Okay, so this amber ruffled dish, fifty cents. Fifty cents. So yeah, also as a precursor to this haul, if you, we're not selling these right now, but if you see anything that you like, you can email us at fatbirdfinds, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com and we can shoot you a price back if you ever see anything in any of our hauls that you like, just so you know. But yeah, 50 cents, amber ruffle, compote, I guess. I've never seen this before. And I'm sure you guys have, but I have not. This is a moon and star, but it's like a little... It's, it's so dusty. I know. I'm, I'm sure you're just dying. Your mom's probably me. mad at me. <laughs> um, but this is like a little basket with these little pieces um, toward the center. I think that's really cute. I like it. This was also 50 cents. These are like little basket handles kind. I mean, they're just really mid-century looking. And I don't know if they have a name or not when they do those, when they do the little handle pieces or whatever like that. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. What else? This was also 50 cents. This is like a handmade piece. So the bottom of it looks like a drinking glass that's been pinched, right? And then the top of it comes out in these ruffles. So this that's pretty cute. got a pontal mark on the bottom. So that's a handmade piece, 50 cents. I feel like that's really cute. I think so. I think it would look really pretty with like some purple flowers in it or something. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Okay. This is interesting too. And I'm not sure why it looks like this. So this is a swan. I went ahead and picked it up because it was only 50 cents. But it has some interesting issues. Like underneath all those rough places, those aren't chips or cracks or anything. They're just like, you can feel them. It's like where the glass was messed up. Yeah, maybe it's just, you know, I guess it's just... A second, as yeah. they say, you know. Yeah, it's it's rough under there, and that's just kind of where the glass was messed up. 
But anyway, it's still really pretty. There's the bottom of it. But he's cute. It's cute. You see a lot of swans. I'm not sure that I've ever seen one quite that shape with his neck up so tall like that. You know, like straight up. Usually they're right. longer. Right. Yeah. So that was fun. That was a good one. These were just kind of cute. All this stuff was 50 cents. So I just like picked up a bunch of stuff. Somebody said, I think that base would do well with a flower frog. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. Yeah. So these are just little like soda fountain, little plaques to I, put I on feel, your wall. I feel like Jeffrey needs those for his, you know, his diner. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he has the, in his basement, he has the little kitschy 50s diner theme going on. Yeah. That would look cute. Uh huh. Then I found this little duck, this little guy. He's made in Taiwan. I feel like we sold one kind of similar to him recently. I think so too. Bird five. I think you're right. But yeah, he would look cute, uh, really good with a little Hey, Peterson too. said that would look cute at Jeffrey's too. <laughs> she probably said that the same time as me. Probably so. What else do I have over there? Oh, look at him. It's a little bell. And it has a sweet little bear on top. Great Smoky Mountains. And he has his original Japan sticker there. I think he's cute. Yeah, he's just a little... At first, I thought he was a badger. Does somebody... Peterson said badger. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I guess I just assumed he was a little black bear for the Great Smoky Mountains. What do I know? I think he is, but I think he looks like a badger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do the Japanese know about black bears? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little souvenir. Oh, so funny. Souvenir piece. <laughs> I thought this sounded kind of naughty. <laughs> popping fresh pies. Uh, where's Vinny? <laughs> We're popping some fresh pies around here. <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't. This was just a quarter. So I couldn't not pick that up. They're all saying badger. <laughs> whatever bear badger mm -hmm. it's all good what else here's a little jar that was just like 50 cents sanford's yeah sanford's little yellow lid on top that's and then cute it's got you need to do a bottle lot next week that'd be good you know you always like to do those i like we bottles. haven't done one in a long time i like bottles <laughs> Bottles are fun. This is cute. Fun. Then I've got this sweet, everywhere. <laughs> sweet little piece of glass that's got its sticker in there. Very nice. It's pretty cute. I don't understand the concept of the handle though, on pieces like that. Yeah, I don't the know. little like a cup handle. I don't know. Why do they do that? All right, the two best ones are for last. Okay. Which one do you want? Let's have the tall one. Here, hold the top. Good job. Oh, Sarah oh, Lee says, said that. Sarah Lee says Japan has black bears. Oh, I'm sorry, Japan. <laughs> Check this out. Are you excited about that one? So cute. Guess what I, I love paid? It. Guess what I paid for this genie bottle? <laughs> Somebody guess. I'm just going to tell you. It was 50 cents. Now, it's... Here's the problem. It, here's the problem. The top of it... You got it, Vinny. Which you guys know how hard the tops are to find intact. Yes. So, they always fall off or get chipped or something. But, I still think that we could expect to make at least $15. Yeah, the nice thing about that is, I mean, if you can, you know, if you just have it cheap, you know, for your collection, you know, just to put in with your other stuff, just for looks, so to speak. Yeah. Um, the chips don't show too badly on that amber glass like that. Right. You know. But there is the top. But, of course, you know they're there, so. And, you know, guys, if you come across any of these tops, just the tops intact. Or, like, pretend like you find this piece and the bottom has a crack. Yeah. And the top's fine. The tops for some of these genie bottles go for like 50 bucks on eBay. We were just looking at them and the tops bring more than the whole piece together, which makes no sense Sometimes. whatsoever. Sometimes. In some instances. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I guess that's just somebody selling one cheap, but. Somebody asked how tall this is. It's pretty oh. tall. Hold on. 
with the lit with the top it's 21 inches Yvonne said sand it and clear polish if it's just for yourself for your own you know use it yeah exactly <laughs> Jamie what's insane where was that yard sale when I was there I know right so this is the piece I went after they posted pictures and I saw this in the picture and then they had all that other stuff as well when I got there but I was bummed that it was broken, but I was pretty stoked that it was only 50 cents. So I went ahead and picked it up. Yep. That's super cute. I'm going to put it up there where you can see it like with your Hold stuff. the top. I got it. Now, here, here's the last thing that I got. And you guys tell me what you think. This is very interesting to me. So... I was in this lady's garage and I was just walking around and I see this stack of plates. Okay. Stack of plates. Okay. And I look at them and I'm like, that looks like uranium glass, but they've got this weird blue stuff on them. So I'm like, what the heck? So I had my light with me. Where is my light? There it is. So I had my light with me and I hit them with the light and I was like, holy crap. I mean, it was super bright in there and they just like popped. I mean, you can tell it's really bright in Those here right now. Those glow crazy. These glow almost better than any I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So they, they do that. That's as much glow as I've seen. Did she invite you into her <laughs> attic for more stuff? No, but that's happened to me before. <laughs> so these are really strange. So let me show you these more closely. Let me get one of the, <laughs> ones with more detail this one yeah okay so they're very imperfect with their blue design so here's one I just like to play with them <laughs> and they're here's so glowy and here's one so you can see that the designs are different and I was asking Laura what she thought about them these are obvious in my opinion obviously not pressed so you know uranium glass after people realized how dangerous it was, everything became pressed, pressed glass. Right. These don't seem pressed to me. Now, I may be wrong, but they don't seem pressed to me because they're all different thicknesses. They want to know about the blue paint. So I think it's fused on there. Laura thinks that this is fused uh, glass. That's what I think it there, is. It's not paint. It's, it's definitely not paint because you can feel the where that blue is fused in there so here's my theory but you guys are good so I want to hear your your theories as well my theory is that someone is trying their hand at some glass crafting and they tried to do they got these old uranium plates and they got the blue to fuse on there and tried to make designs on there maybe maybe so <laughs> but I don't know. I don't even know if that's a thing. Can you do that? I don't even really know that much about glass. But here's here's uh, one crafting. Of, here's one of my my thoughts. I was hoping you could get it off. I know, right? right? So because they didn't because you know it's messy. Like look at this one. That's got a whole big blank spot right there where there's nothing. But here's here's one thing that that I've noticed. So as I said, later uranium glass was all pressed because it was too dangerous to blow it. Okay, these the the plates themselves seem way too imperfect to have been pressed. So my thought is, is this is early uranium glass saucers, early saucers, and that somebody fused them later. They're not saucers, though. Sorry to interrupt. They're plates, but they've got this cutout in the middle. Yeah, but they're I mean, that's too big to be a saucer. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's good because plates are better than, I mean, nobody wants just a sack of saucers. I mean, I think they really are plates. So, see how imperfect they are? I mean, you can you can see the texture in there of this glass. They're saying under bowls. Under bowls. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that too. And I've heard of under plate as well. But yeah, oh yeah, you can see they're like they're different. Um, Plus... This one, not so much. Hold on, let me find another one. They've been ground off on the top. So yeah. Laura thinks that when this blue glass was fused, whoever did it ground off the tops to make them smooth. Regardless of how this came to be, or 
whatever, how it came to be, they're very interesting to me. Oh, yeah. But they're like, they're definitely, they're all different. Like yeah. this one's heavier than this one. This one's thicker. This one's really heavy. Feel how heavy that one is. Yeah. That one's a lot thicker than this one. So my thought process is that this is early uranium glass. They're saying maybe recycled glass. It does kind of have a little bit of a texture to it. I mean, somebody would have, what, had to melt that down and recast I don't, I don't know. Somebody just said, I don't think you can have fused glass after the glass is cold. Like you can't fuse it back onto an existing piece. I don't know. I don't either. I have messaged George. <laughs> he has not gotten back with me yet. They just look like somebody took a Sharpie to them. And it's, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Like nobody drew, you know, they just dripped it on there. So that's why it looks like that. Yeah. It's not drawn on. It is definitely that blue is glass. I think. I think it's early glass. because just, Oh, Peterson said they just smash the uranium glass then refire it. Well, isn't that dangerous? Like, do people do that to uranium I glass? I don't think so, unless you breathed in the dust. Unless you breathed in the dust, huh. I don't think it would be. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I have asked George. <laughs> when he answers me, I will pass that information along if he knows. But regardless, these are super cool to me because they're so bizarre. I mean, if, if, if they didn't glow, I mean, I would just think that they were just trash. You can wear a respirator. Because it just looks like somebody made these in their garage. That's what Nikki said. It looks like somebody made these in their garage. Yeah, we're supposed to be going to, to dinner with George and Zeno. We may have to bring those along. Yeah. <laughs> uh, George, would well, you, you get, like some interesting dinner conversation? Look at these plates. Well, you get that light. <laughs> But I can tell you this, that these light up and glow almost more than any I've ever seen. Yep. It's crazy. So that's my <laughs> weird, weird story slash yeah. find for the day. And I wish I had had the, uh, I wish I had had the idea to go by mom's store and bring what she got this week. Um, she got... This whole collection of ephemera it's in a big notebook. And I'll bring it next week. That's what I'll do. And you guys can give me your opinion. It's like, not only are there really cool postcards, so vintage, like 1900, 1905. But there are um, like cigarette cards. But they're celebrities. And they're in Spanish. And I don't know very much Spanish. But I can tell that they were not for cigarettes. They were for candy. Mm-hmm. And they're like very, very, very old. I mean, they're like in the early 1900s. You know, like Douglas Fairbanks. And he was like super young. So that's a long time ago. Hmm. But, and there's a ton of them. So I'll bring those and show them because I want to see what anybody knows about them. It'd be nice. Mom wants to maybe sell them as a whole set instead of selling them off individually. But that'd be good. Yes. All right. Do you want to show this? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we just, um, while I'm showing things, I went to the sale with last Sunday morning with Daniel Tacky as me and Jamie Mid-Century Wasted. Yeah. And I got these really cute little cards, but <laughs> I will, <laughs> I will show you first the package toppers. So Jamie sent this to us. And we have the cute little package toppers. Look at Jamie getting branded. Look at her. Wait, what? there's some in here. Hang on. <laughs> She's good now. Let's see. You graphic designers all think alike. Peterson found some dragon wire. Nice. Very cool. Here's her little card. So cute. It's square. I love it. I love things that are square. Look how cute she is. That's my it's aesthetic. She's it's getting wasted square. in that picture. And really cute. Like, here's little ephemera. I don't have to show all that. Little stamps. So cute. Orange rice. I think I'm going to make that. What? Look at that. Orange rice. Like, <laughs> orange chicken. Oh, wow. Right? I want to make orange rice. And then I thought this was cool because this is from... Let's get wasted. Yeah. What, let's do it. Uh, let's do the let's do the intro. I can't. <laughs> let's do Jamie's intro. Mm -mm. You ready? No. Uh, now, because you have to help me. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Shake up a martini. Pull up a chair. And let's get wasted. Let's go thrifting. 
Oh, God. <laughs> okay, but look at this. Navajo taco. Mmm. But this is really true. When we, I went on a mission trip, and we, I think it was like, it was North Dakota that we went to, and it was an Indian reservation that we were going to do all of our mission work at, and we stayed at a school, and they served us food out of the cafeteria, which was so nice, but when we had tacos one night, and they looked like this when they served them. I was like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> and so it's like puffy bread. I forgot what you call them. It's like your batter bread. Yeah, what is that They're, called? It's made like that, and then they put the taco stuff on top of it like that. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. It was really good. I bet. And then look at this. This is funny. <laughs> she put this in here. <laughs> Fry bread. Oh, yeah. Fry bread. So like batter bread, like I said. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like, but look at this. Here's this, and I'm going to read you guys what it says. Okay. For the definition. A night. I'm Navajo. Oh, that's, that's cool. awesome. That's fantastic. Okay. So, crunk. Providing entertainment, amusement, excitement, or enjoyment. <laughs> like, his bar mitzvah is supposed to be crunk. That's number one. Are we crunk? Oh, we are crunk. Are we? Yeah. Number two, crazy insane. The synonym is whack or postal. Number three. Bye, Mimi Ray. <laughs> number three, intoxicated, as in he got crunk on some nasty port. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Oh, my God. It's so funny. And then the very funniest part is the bottom it says, I can assure you that the Tupperware party will be mad crunk. Is this flipping and sipping <laughs> mad crunk? We are mad crunk. Is that true? Oh, my God. That's so funny. I hope Megan's not watching. She's going to be so She'll embarrassed. She'll die. She'll die. I haven't seen her on here yet. She'll, she won't live through that one. Yeah. And then I won't show them all, but you haven't seen these, but these are so funny. I bought these vintage cards that come in the box like this. Mm -hmm. And they're straight up so 70s. And some of them are some of them are like um oh, what's the guy like Jack Handy on SNL? Deep thoughts. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> what does it say? The happy hours and golden sunsets that we shared have become my most treasured memories. <laughs> that is so deep. Right? Can you imagine sending that to somebody? That's what he says on there, isn't it? That is so deep. That's a lot for me. Mm -hmm. It's hot in here. I know. It is hot. And then, like, then there's some funny ones, you know, like this. It says, Psst, don't look now, but I said don't look now. And then he has on a towel. That's really something. Yeah, so they're all different. They're very funny. Jamie, I'm mad at you. Jamie says, this. those ones are so funny because they were meant to be so serious. <laughs> I know. Here's one more. Hang on. Let me get one more of the serious ones that are funny. And the imagery, it's just like so serene. What does that say? Wait, what does that say? Oh, my God. Yeah, let's read that one. Look at her. She's like in the <laughs> corn patch or something. It's often when I'm alone and things are quiet and peaceful that my happiest thoughts come. Like those of you. <laughs> She's like in some sort of corn patch, though. What is she, who's she fighting? Mo with? says she needs a lady gown. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Yes, she does. Oh, yeah. They're fantastic. So I love those, Jamie. Thank you so much. There's, They're all different. Every single one of them. They're all different. Yep. That was a great little tidbit uh -huh. there that Very you shared. Cute. Yeah. I mean, you know, usually if you have a box of cards, you get like four or five of the same ones. Like, yeah. Yeah. I always think deeply in a cornfield. <laughs> uh, Cornelia. May <laughs> cringy. <laughs> okay. Laura, we're going to play Pictionary. The time is here. Is it? It's here. What time? Pictionary time. Let me go set up my phone so that I can set up. 
sorry. You kill me because I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm just trying just to. Laughing. I'm trying to conduct a show here. I'm like <laughs> trying to produce a show, and you just are like laughing and interrupt me. I'm just and laughing. Someone said she looks like she should be on the front of Trusty's maxi pad boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Um, it was Grace. Yeah. Oh my God. Dana Grace. So funny. Oh, that Dana. is so funny. Hi, Blake. <laughs> hey, yes, Blake. with new markers. Yes. Spoiler alert. Somebody said it. It was here. Katie, but wait. Okay, I have to go set up my phone so that I can set up the Pictionary. Now you've got free reign over the comments. Oh, great. Well, it's no fun then. <laughs> Uh, I've figured it out though. I know what the problem is. We have a 10 second, not 10 second, but we have a few seconds delay. So you like talk quickly and move on to the next subject and they're just now answering what you've said before. Oh, Laura. So that, that's my excuse. <laughs> Somebody's Marion. That was, that was good. Now that's crunk. <laughs> Melinda says, are you the producer now, Ruth Ann? Yeah. Always. <laughs> Thanks, Melinda. Oh, look, Mo's going to take it for me. See? It's not a spoiler if you posted them on Insta. Oh, well. That's true. I'm excited about those markers. I'm a teacher. The colors are real. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, hold on. I've got a... I don't think this is going to make you guys go away. I'm pulling up my email in another window. So, just a second. Oh, dear. I've got to get up my login code for StreamYard. What are they seeing? I think they're still seeing us. Oh, they're seeing us. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I can't see the comments now, so. Oh, isn't that a stream? I know. Oh, look. I bet I can see them on my phone. Okay. I'm, it's back now. There you go. Okay. Lois Phoebe, I need some wine. Get you a glass. Lois, pour yourself a glass. Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot. What happened? Nothing. I was in the wrong browser. Oh, that happens. Blake says, I'm a teacher, too. Yes, the um, the sets of Sharpies and markers and all that kind of stuff. Mary Beth just loves all that. Do I? I like it, too. Do I? Hold on. Sorry, I was not prepared. Go ahead, Laura. Oh, that's okay. Go on with on with the chlorophyll. Who knows what movie that was from? Oh my gosh. They were roasting me last night, Mary Beth and Nikki. They can get the movie quotes in like nothing flat. So they were just firing them out. I, you got three seconds. What's this movie from? And they would shout out a quote and I'd be like, I don't know. Don't count at me. I can't take it. No. I can't, I can't say anything when you count. I was like, Laura, say a quote from Jurassic Park. Five. Four. <laughs> Three, two, one. Failed. Fail. That's like, God, nobody can work under that kind of pressure. <sighs> yes, you can. Nobody can perform like that. Okay, I'm going to set this up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the sound of music? What? I don't know. Oh, somebody's guessing. What's the question? On with the chlorophyll? I said, what movie was that from? It's Billy Madison. <laughs> Hold on. Let me make this full screen. Why did you say that? I was just letting them guess. Oh, sorry. I thought you were asking me. No. Here, I'm making that full screen. Okay. I think we're ready. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Wait, I need my new colors. We're back in the car. Y'all. So, last week when we played Pictionary, I didn't have enough colors to adequately play the game. I felt very, you know, hindered, hindered you know, really down about Handicapped. it. Handicapped. Yeah. So, then, then, it was like, okay, so that was Friday night. I went over to Laura's house on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. To pack, to, to invoice and pack boxes. Sunday now. And we had a package there waiting for us. We had just done the show Friday night. Friday night. And then Sunday we have a package. And Nettie sent me better colors. 
Isn't that great? She sent me better colors. I can't stand it. It's so cute. Oh, that was such a big surprise when I opened that up. Do you know how much colors are in here? <laughs> it's a lot. Hi, Danny. <laughs> This is a lot of colors. Somebody's asking, well, we're not playing the mature version tonight. We're playing the regular <laughs> version, but you guys can pretty much make anything naughty. That's true. So, oh, Angela, that's my Jurassic Park quote. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your Jurassic Park quote? It's, she had it in there. It said something like, they're back in the car or something like that. We're back in the car again. <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The immature version. That's funny. All right. So I'm just going to grab some cards here. <laughs> Maybe you should pick the word that I should draw. Okay. Don't do pick it. something hard like Alaska. I'm, I think or, we should do the difficult like, ones. Or like Nebraska. I can't draw Nebraska. Okay. Let's do. Um, Hi, Nikki. Hello. I think Nebraska is just a square. No, I think it has a little thing. Yeah, it's a little notch. Will you pour me some more drinks? Well, yeah. That'd be great. Let's do um, the the object on this one. Oh, well, that's kind of hard. That can be a lot of things. Can you draw Colorado? No. It, I think that really is a square. <laughs> Everybody's like, Nikki, Nikki. Oh. Okay. So this is the word. Yes. Okay, so we need to make this like, mm, wait for it, like that. <laughs> How's that? Good. Looks good to me. Okay, this is going to be ridiculous. Okay, I'm just going to do my best. We need a flag one. There's another bottle, guys. Maybe one night we'll play Draw the Flag. God, no. <laughs> Don't talk Don't about talk Draw about the Flag. That. It's very private, Laura. Uh, out of bounds, Laura. They're, they're asking if you can draw these different states. I don't know why they're asking you that. It was so funny, though. One night we did that. And... Draw the Flag? <laughs> no. Okay. One night we drew different states. Like we had a contest. Are you, you to, watching? You had to draw the state and then put the put the capital in, on there. People don't need to know that that's what we do for fun. <laughs> Jack in the box. Nope. That's not the word. Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I'm box. Drop that. Hardies. Hardies. <laughs> I'm just. Pop goes the weasel. The Twilight Zone. What? Here we go. Well, wind up toy. It is toy. Yeah. Toys. It's toy. Misfit yeah. toys. So, yep, it's toys. Will That's you get the me word. A, um, Way to go. Paper towel. Where's your card? I think I dropped it. Oh. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Thanks. Here you go. Okay. It was toy. Let's see. Let's try another one. Let's see. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got such better colors. <laughs> Feel really good about it. Okay. Um, let's do Let's do object again. Okay. Okay. Is it the blue one? Oh yes. my gosh, I can't do that. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Okay. <sighs> yes, toy was the answer. Lots of people got that one. Toys. This is an object. It's a box. Vinny, the one with better colors. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. If you guys are new, we always name our episodes. If you are kind enough to come back and comment after the video posts, which helps our channel, we make it fun. You can post um, the name of the episode just like a friend's episode. So like the one where or the one that. 
house, house, sidewalk, walkway, tree house, stairs, walkway, front lawn, front yard, sidewalk, yard, hedge. Yes. It was Hedge. Hannah, the Thrifty Corgi. Yeah. A lot of people get it like right about the same time, you know, and then it just jumps and then a whole bunch of people have said Hedge. And then I think that I haven't got the first person, but I'm, I usually see it pretty good. That's pretty much what my neighbor's house looks like. <laughs> oh, across the street. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some of these are hard. Yeah. Hedge. Good job, everybody. Let's do a person. Those look like you pack your containers. Thanks, Tiger. <laughs> good thing you had the green. Carrie would have never got it. Carrie says, I said it first. Fine. She are wants you a sure refund. Where? She, I don't see it. She wants a refund. <laughs> okay, what's next? Let's do person. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Oh, that's hard. Okay. If you can't do it literal, do something funny. Mary Beth, I Laura. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a person. Mosin <laughs> to Carrie, you won't get it because this whole show is a racket. That's true. That's the truth. <laughs> Stick figure, a person, Twiggy, <laughs> Sunny and Cher, which is a great guess. Redheaded stepchild, girl, couple, boy and girl, Biden, family, bathrooms. <laughs> That's great. We used to play this game where we would name all the different ways that people like restaurants named bathrooms. It was like a travel game. Mom of boys, bisexuality, a foursome, the Partridge family, relatives. So they're getting warmer. Family tree. <laughs> the Brady Bunch. Heterosexual, <laughs> cousins, maternal, married, sister. You're doing a pretty good job of that. Thanks. Oh, somebody got it. Father-in-law. Yeah. Wait, where was it? I, wait, 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 wait. It jumps right about the time I want to click on it. Tree. Yeah. Yes. Good job. That's it. Oh, and Kathy Cooper. Good job. Sorry if I missed the first person. I'm trying to get the first person, but it jumps on me a little bit. Nice. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> she drew the arrow right through her crotch. Thanks, Vinny, for pointing that out. <laughs> oh. Vinny. Vinny, you are so appreciated. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you probably don't even know who that person is. That's on the difficult one. Um, who is it? Uh, that. Yeah, I know who that is. Do you want to do that one? Not no. really. <laughs> it was Wilt Chamberlain, in case anyone's wondering. Some of these are easy. Um, you're probably trying to find a hard one. Well, yeah, one that they won't get so easy. That's they're good. You're good, and they're good. Vinny. Is like, how did anyone get father-in-law from that? Because it was like a family tree and the relationship between those two people. Vinny, I don't want to hear see, all those people were on the boy's <laughs> side and all these people were on the girl's side. Huh? And <laughs> she circled the girl <laughs> and then circled him. Deanna, tall men with many women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You want to do that one? Oh, yeah, I can probably do that. I can probably do that. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. 
You can do this one. I need better color. Hold on. I got you it. You can do this one. No, I like that one. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Although I'm having trouble look at, thinking about what that looks like. What? You can't say it. How about if I do this? I have an idea. I think you should do that one because hopefully that will spur a certain conversation. Oh, no, it's not. Not if you go that route. <laughs> Oh, what is it? I thought P was for people, person, in this game. That's not what this is. This is a, this is something. Hot box, car, low rider, telephone, car, cat, hood or ornament, taxi, little red Corvette. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> Little Red Corvette, hit and run. <laughs> <laughs> Headlight. <clears throat> you see mine? Ship's mask. No, it's not ship's mask. I thought you would think that was funny. Oh, wait. Mo got it. Miriam got it before Mo. Jaguar. They caught it. Is that a Jaguar that you've drawn on that hood? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and Dana Grace had gotten it. Oh, it just, it must have jumped when somebody it said that. It looks like a monkey. Somebody said monkey butt. <laughs> there it was. There was the first one I saw. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's the nope. worst thing I've ever drawn in my life. Very. I need to erase that forever. <laughs> I'm going to delete this video. Oh, that's great. Love that. I like the person that said hit and run. <laughs> I know, Kathy Cooper. She's like, Jaguar, what the heck? Yeah, I know. You, I really apologize. Your scale was a little off on that one. <laughs> um, Somebody said cat on a hot tin roof. That's funny. Or cat on a hot tin hood. That's funny. Why did I you draw a Jaguar? Out of the, I don't know, Carrie. <laughs> it was the last resort. Hey, look at this, though. This is interesting. We always like to learn something. The Jaguar hood ornament is called a leaper. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's very cool. nice. How about that? That's really cool. Okay. What? I don't understand. I don't understand what, the, what this P is for. Not either. Try that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I'm picking my colors. Oh, these colors really add something. Do they? Don't you think? Oh yeah. I'm feeling it. Okay. Here we go. Angela, I thought it was person place or thing. Okay, P, person, place, or thing. That makes sense. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. That's what it is. Mountain range, breasts, <laughs> big butts, hills, mountains, mountain range. Look at this one. Um, oh, no, that's not what I meant to <laughs> click on. Oh, there's lots of go going on here. I meant to click on this. My father-in-law is 97 and drives a Jaguar. That's awesome. Okay. Snow caps, Purple Mountain Majesty. Just around the river bend. Just around the river bend. <laughs> Rockies, Dwarfs, Colorado River, Alps, Log Cabin, Camping, Cabin in the Woods. Bob Ross, Cabin, Blizzard. I don't think you're really getting this. <laughs> tin Roof. Yeah, you're not really going the right direction. I'm not. No. Really? A little House on the Prairie. I love the Water Sprinkle of you. I don't understand on. what else I could Hideout. do. Blue Mountain. Mountain. I don't understand Hideaway. what else I could do. 
Wait, don't tell me. Okay, no, I gotta tell you. No, I don't want to know your hints. <laughs> Hermit, isolation, log cabin. I swear somebody got it. Y'all, you've let me down. You shouldn't have got that from this drawing. <laughs> Why? Cottage. It Elba was, got it. it it's was, not a cottage. Why? It's like a... You drew like a cabin. Well, what is a like cottage? Like a lodge or something. It could be a cottage. A cottage is like <laughs> where they trade houses on the holiday, and she lives in a cottage in England. Well, <laughs> like with pretty little rose bushes and a picket fence, and... Oh, like and a yes, yes, I did my best. <laughs> Deanna, wait, Deanna, wait, I'm gonna show you a cottage. Wait, Deanna says that's not a cottage. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you one. Danny <laughs> says a cottage is more frou frou. Yeah, it wasn't a cottage. Just saying, y'all. See, Laura is somehow gonna go get a cottage. I really am. You're gonna be amazed. Okay, Nikki, you y'all. Wait till you see this. This so not a cottage. Is a cottage. Ugh. Damn it. Thanks, Mayra. <laughs> a moss covered stone house, someone said. <laughs> Pam, you tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rocks. I maybe see you, that's a cottage. Maybe you should draw this one. No, I can't draw. But maybe you should let me give you a hint. Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't like hints. You're very in control. I'll do better. Of the situation. I'll do better. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> you drew the perfect mountain cabin. Thanks, Melinda. Oh, somebody said maybe you should have said cottage cheese. I thought about that. Okay. What else do you have? You want to do this? I can draw that. That I can do. To be fair, that was hard. Yes. Katie, always the diplomat. That's right. Katie's taking it for you. <laughs> yeah. Don't you hate that when you're playing Pictionary, how about a million times, like every single time, somebody goes, is it an all play? Is it an all play? So funny. Angela, that was really funny. You get like 100 points for that comment. What are you doing? Oh, gotcha. They're saying bear, Goldilocks. Of course, they got that. Beaver. I don't even know who was first. There's like a million people said beaver. <laughs> you could have gotten an audio route, you know. Laura. She can't draw a naughty beaver. Laura! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> beaver Thanks. Dam. We have Beaver Dam in Kentucky. There's a place called that. That's true. That's where everybody stops to go between here and Louisville or Lexington. Yes. You gotta stop at Beaver Dam. Because <sighs> at, at the Hucks. Yeah. Bedazzled beaver scratcher. <laughs> God, that was the funniest <laughs> night ever. Beaver scratcher. What else? So you got? I'm getting. Red. I think you I'm gave me beaver again. because you felt sorry for me after <laughs> cottage. Well, I thought you might be wanting to get a little naughty. Oh my God, Laura. Oh, let's see. Hey, this she is a good one. This. this is a good one. <laughs> what a cute beaver. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. <laughs> Well, wait, see, it jumped on you. Thanks, Annie. Lady gown. What do you have? Um, that. I thought that would be fun to do. Ugh, I'll an, probably draw that wrong, too. It's, a, it's an all play, everybody. <laughs> I'm sure I'll draw this wrong, too. Let's see. I need... I'm draw it wrong. Go big or go home and make it funny. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Don't look at that. <laughs> Kenny says, nice beaver. These colors are paying off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's making fun of me majorly. It was Jamie. 
Andy Christie says she has to go big because she's already home. <laughs> Tiger Lily says, Tiger, <laughs> she's on it. She's got that. That's not the right. That's not the answer. Wait. Just give me a minute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tony the Tiger as a kitten. Tigger. Tiger says, me. Jamie, a liger. Oh, sure, Jamie. That's what it is. A liger. Daniel Tiger. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody got it already. I think Vinny was the, maybe the first one. <laughs> That's supposed to be a monkey. Oh, that monkey. <laughs> That, 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 now everybody will know what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> the, I don't know what that is. The jungle. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> They're going to think we've had way more drinks than we have. I'm really tickled over that. I know. I somebody guessed Tiger Woods. I thought that was great. Oh, that's a good guess. Oh, that's awesome. What a great guess. Pam Avery guessed that. Probably somebody's going to say that monkeys don't live in the jungle or something. Look, and it's going to make me mad. Look, Tiger's is a ghost in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. Oh. <laughs> it's a monkey. Hey, though. Jamie says those oak trees are not accurate jungle foliage. <laughs> Thanks, no, really. Jamie. I mean, why did you draw the tree like that? Oh my god! I mean, in the jungle, you better draw the big palm tree thing. You know, like Laura. <laughs> if I had drawn a With palm the tree, and stuff. if I had drawn some sort of palm tree, y'all would have been like, "It's not the beach." <laughs> if I had drawn some sort of palm tree. Well, but I mean, it needs to be more jungly than that. Oh my god! Monkeys don't smile, Danny. <laughs> Y'all are really critical of me today. Those darn tree ghosts. That's the funniest comment. Those darn tree ghosts. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think anybody would ever get this one. Jamie, palm trees are also not accurate. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. That was broccoli. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kitchy cat, I'm crying. <laughs> I realized when I started saying palm tree that they're not exactly palm trees, but they certainly weren't the trees that you were drawing either. Will you guys give us a like on this video? <laughs> Please. Please. I really need it. Because if I look at this later and I've got like 40 thumbs downs, I'm going to probably cry. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to do this one? No, I can't draw that. <laughs> okay. I'll get you a different one. Let's see. How about <laughs> this one? Oh, my gosh. I've got to draw the jungle again. <laughs> Don't say that. You gave it away. Hey, Nicole, North. I mean, not Nicole, North. The cottage cat. <laughs> the one with the smiling tree goes. Deanna said, this is fun. Who gave, who gave it a thumbs down? There's somebody out there that just likes to give us thumbs downs. It drives Mary Beth crazy. It's probably yeah. why they do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's so happy about whatever he's getting ready to do. Mowgli. Urban jungle. I don't know how to draw this. Hold on. North, we're playing Pictionary. It's an all play. <laughs> They're all an all play. I mean, let's be honest. North says, hey, we just finished family karaoke night. Maybe that'll be next. Well, I guess we can't for copyright purposes, thank God, do karaoke on here. But what was your go-to song, North? Charlie Brown, Tourist, George of the Jungle. Uh, I think we have a winner. Hold on. Mid-Century Wasted, Machete. <laughs> Is that a stick in your hand, or are you happy to see me? <laughs> Did you, who said that? Danny. Danny said that? 
Okay. I don't know why he was so happy about that machete, but he really was. Really was. Tomb Raider, swashbuckling, Chucky, <laughs> sling blade, <laughs> deliverance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beat, Beat Bobby, Bobby Flay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Oh, here, here we go. North and I are talking about her, her karaoke night. Chris and I did Summer Lovin' from Greece. Oh, nice. Nice. That's fantastic. That's a good one. I could do that one. Could you? Yeah, I could do all the words to that one. Let's hear it. Yeah, go. I can't sing. Let's hear I could it. do all the words, though. Let's. Okay, go. Oh. I, I, I want to hear the words. Put your no. money where your mouth is. I can do it, I promise. Summer Lovin'. <laughs> Had me a blast. <laughs> Oh Lord. Okay. Are we still going? No. <laughs> Sing the next one. Summer loving. Happened so fast. I don't know the words. Uh, see, you don't know. He was sweet. Just turned 18. No. She was good. You know what I mean. I don't know the words, but good good job. <laughs> What else? Oh, I met a girl crazy for me. We skipped. I think I skipped farther into the song. Maybe. You said you knew how to do it. You're a liar. I do know it. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. We need a singing thrifter. <laughs> Sam from uh, Thrift You is really good. Yeah, Sam's good. Jamie, in the Dominican Republic, they were cutting all the fruit with machetes. It was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. That's cool. <laughs> you need to switch cameras. Oh, yeah. You're small. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot. There you go. Complete strange springs. Karaoke and sipping. Yes. They're like, we can't see. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, and uh, Sam have the thrift, the thrifting singers gig. They've got that covered. You guys really? I used to be able to sing. It makes me sad that I can't sing anymore. I used to at least not not really sing, but like I could carry a tune. Like I could make I could do that grease thing that just happened. But now I can't do that. What changed? My thyroid. When they took my thyroid out. I wondered about. Comet, the sun, Mars, world peace. We are the world. <laughs> Supernova. Is that a badminton party? <laughs> uh, hey, wait. Who got it? It's Asteroid. Yeah. A lot of people go. Oh, there's Jamie. Kathy Cooper. It was Asteroid. Is that accurate? I don't know what an asteroid looks like. Kathy Cooper, we've been watching the OC, so every time I see your name, I say it, I feel like they're going Julie Cooper <laughs> from the OC. Flaming Cheetos. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Guess who said that? Oh, Jamie said that was accurate. Thanks, Jamie. That really means a lot <laughs> coming from you. A plus, she said. Wow. Damn. Darn, forgot about those asteroids. <laughs> Ooh. These colors, though. These colors are on point. Um, Deanna says, kiss my asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. Do you want to do that one? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. That's, that's easy. That is so easy. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Jamie said we never would have got that. That one without all those colors. <laughs> I Sue, look, Sue said, do you have asteroids? No, but my dad does. The movie quote. What movie is that? I don't know that one. Sue, you might have stumped him. I don't know that If one. you did, you get 100 points, man. I don't know it. They don't know it. Hey, Melissa says Danny's a good singer. Hey. Nice. Well, when we have the company picnic, the corporate picnic, we're going to have karaoke night. Hey, there's Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Is she that be fun? No, she's Hey, Michelle. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. What's the quote? Oh, vacation. Yes. 
Okay, let me tell you all something. Mary Beth loves Christmas Vacation, yet she has never seen the original Vacation, which I can't imagine. If you love Christmas Vacation so much, why wouldn't you watch the regular Vacation? So weird. Wicked. Trick or treat. A bold witch. <laughs> oh, they got it. Witch doctor. Very, very, very good. Lots of people are getting it. Yeah. I like, I see what you did there. Thanks. Pretty good. Yeah. I will sing karaoke with literally anyone as long as it's I, I got you, babe, and I get to be Cher. Babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> I got you, babe. What's the, what's the chorus? <laughs> I don't have any idea. They say our love won't pay the rent. Laura, you're in rear form. <laughs> she really is. I don't know what to do with you. I yet. won't I find out. Money's all been spent. Something like that. Carrie, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Carrie, I have a surprise for you, but you have to wait until next week. Sorry. Yes. Well, that's a tease. It really is. Yeah. I'll tell you next week. <laughs> is oh, that drink they're, they're Laura? Trust me, that's not the dream. It's really not. I, I, I've just had a glass of wine. That's Laura all. is a trooper. I can drink. She can way out drink me. I'm just very giggly. I really like the show. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, ah. seriously, Friday night is like Laura's favorite mm -hmm. day of the week. Mm -hmm. It's this is like her favorite thing, mm -hmm. and she could probably drink four times as much as I can, <laughs> and not. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. It's funny. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> <sighs> Carrie so wants yeah. a refund again. Carrie, next week, you're going to, I'll tell you about it next week, but you're going to be excited. It's the marker high. <clears throat> do you have another one? Oh, I do. They got that one quick. Yeah. Um. Oh, I think this one's hard. Do you think you can do, this is difficult. You know, the green ones are difficult. Do you think you can get them to say that? No, I can't do that. Sure I'll probably just draw the same thing I drew earlier. <laughs> it would have been pretty good. It was better than cottage. Shit. I'm going to draw the same thing again. Auntie Christy, I do have a three-day weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> North says, Chris calls you ladies the drinking ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, North. He's like, yeah, you can't go anywhere with those girls. Like, don't tell him that we're in charge of the corporate picnic. Because when you come, Nicole, then he won't let you come. What? He won't let you come. Excuse me. <laughs> cottage. <laughs> it's a cottage. It's not cottage. Mammary Mountains. Who said that? Book. <laughs> Grand Tetons. The Sound of Music. The Alps. The Valley. Colorado. The Waterfall. River Valley. <laughs> that, gosh, these, these, you guys are on it. You guys are good guessers, but you haven't got it yet. The Alps. Deja Vu. <laughs> exactly the same picture as before. <laughs> I think you should the great divide snowmelt river Alaska mountain spring water Heidi <laughs> that's a good guess here <laughs> you can't whisper they can totally hear you <laughs> okay missing cottage <laughs> Iceland, forest, serene. I don't think that's how you spell serene, Jamie. <laughs> okay. Um, Christmas tree, the road to George's house. Now that's getting somewhere. 
Aquafina. Glaciers. Oh. I was going to Mountain Dew. The Road to George's House. That's pretty clever. This is going to look like boobs, but it's not. <laughs> Avalanche. River. Mountain Pass. River of the Valley. Cottage. Riverbank. <laughs> okay. Logs. No, those aren't logs. Driving to Misery, Kathy Bates. Nature. Nature watching. The, uh, you guys are getting closer. Binoculars. Science. Scenery. Somebody got Sightseeing it. Sightseeing is close. Oh. Oh. Thank God for Deanna. Deanna. I'm pretty impressed. His eyes are bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to whisper to you is, I think if you drew a car driving down the road and then pointed all around it like if you're looking at the scenery. Maybe you should Like the draw. scenic route. You know, like I'm ready for you to route draw. 66. <laughs> Here, let's switch seats. I'm ready for you to draw. Oh, you know I can't draw. It's ridiculous. Let's try it. Here, it's ridiculous. It Here, let's we're going to try it. Oh, no, I hit the thing. Here, scoot over. We're going to try it. I get to pick. <laughs> Somebody said Jesus. <laughs> Who did? Sing while you draw. <laughs> you are mean. <laughs> That's pretty mean. Erin, hello. <laughs> Someone should have been hanging out on the porch of their log cabin cottage having coffee and enjoying the scenery. Here, here's yours. Uh, they're like, oh, yes, Laura, draw. Oh, that's yours. Okay. I'll give you an easy one to start off with. It's okay, Erin, as long as you're here. No, that's yours. I know. Okay, here she goes. I'm going to give don't, her. Don't say it's easy because then I look ridiculous when I can't draw it. Okay. Here she goes. Oh, God. <laughs> draw it toward the middle of the board. Okay. <laughs> This is, uh, see, I'm not giggling anymore. This is no longer fun. This is like a lot of pressure. I'm giggling. Somebody says, it's an oh. empty board. Idea. <laughs> oh, they're trying to be nice now, aren't they? Blank page. Auntie Christie says, you can do it. What is that? <laughs> a light bulb, a you sword, a candle, leave. a snowstorm. It's an airplane. The infinite void. Don't forget to use your colors. A spider. It's a yes, spider. It's a spider. <laughs> I think Carrie might have been the first one that I saw. It's a spider. Laura, you did it. Yeah, I, all these colors and I picked a black. Well, the spiders, spiders are black. black. Oh, we said that at the same time. Wow. Thanks for the play by play there. <laughs> I hate it when you say God, I hate it when you say that. Okay, here's the next one. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's your word. I can't do that. You have to. Well, I can't. Well, you have to try. <laughs> well, hmm. You have to do your best. That wasn't so bad, Karen said. Well, this is bad. You can do it, Deanna says. <laughs> Mary Beth, I can't draw that. Yeah, you can do it. Just do your best. Mo says, do your best. I for real can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't have one. Yeah, do the thicker I can't markers. Do one small. Yeah, do the thicker markers are better. There you go. Maybe it shouldn't be. <laughs> Maybe this should be brown. Oh, Thicker's always better. I can see it in Mich my head, but I Michelle, yes, but I assure you that that is not what's happening here. What? What she? What they say? She says to clarify. Has Laura been drinking? Oh. <laughs> Carrie says, "Let's go, dirty fern." 
Well, you won't ask me anymore after this. So I might as well just get it over with. Acrylics. Eggplant. Kicker is always better. <laughs> what is that? Stop it! Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You're killing me already. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Now I can't do it. Okay. Draw, draw bigger. Can't. Let me give you a tip. Drawing bigger is easier. So draw bigger. That's your tip. Yeah, that's going to be easier. <laughs> Pinocchio, barfing bear. Oh my, this is like a beat. That's totally not what that is. A beat? <laughs> How do you even do this? <laughs> Somebody freaking got it. They got it. What is that? It's his tail. It's not a beaver. <laughs> it's a fox, people. <laughs> Some, they, it was like some sort of weird person <laughs> face. God, that was horrific. <laughs> it was a fox. <laughs> Come over here and teach me how to draw a fox. I mean, I don't know how to draw. That was so bad that that was way funnier than you guys even thought it would be. I would draw like that and then like that. And then yeah, like, there's his nose. Oh, my God. And then like. I don't know. That's like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it kind of looks like Sonic. But See, it's not tail easy. is like this. Like that. And then his feet. Where are you showing off? You are showing off. Uh, poor, and the, poor Aaron. Aaron's the nice one and she's like, oh boy. <laughs> no, you can draw like that, Mary. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Normal people can't do that. Laura, your fox. Why didn't I get cottage? Your fox is my favorite thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Just so you know. It's so you terrible. Were really, you were on the right track at the beginning <laughs> with a small picture. It had a long snout like a fox. Somebody said, bless your heart. That's, that's the death nail there. The blue one. No. You can't do that? Here, I'll pick you another one. I mean, I could probably do that. Okay. Right? Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Um. What is that? <laughs> it's just for fun. <laughs> it's classes. <laughs> okay. Auntie Christie oh, said, for fox sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lady gown. <laughs> Man. Robot. Harry Potter. Arthur. <laughs> How do I make him look like he's Priest. Like he's hipster. Sitting. Soldier, crossing guard, safety. Ugh. Ninja. They're getting closer. Safety boy. What else? Can I do? A scout, crossing guard, um, a samurai, sash, hall monitor, Star Wars, seat belt. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. It was seat belt. Thank God. He doesn't look like he's sitting. Karen said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was really good, actually, because that's what their belts look like. <laughs> that's pretty funny, Karen. Oh. Good job, Laura. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you, I feel bad. Do you feel accomplished? No, I feel embarrassed. No. I think you're doing a really fine job. Oh, thanks. Do you want to keep going? I'll do one more. One more, huh? They want to see you draw. They don't want to see me draw. No, I think they all want to see you draw. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do animals. 
I'm done. <laughs> the fox was it. I feel like animals are the easiest thing. Yeah, well, that's you. That's terrible. That was okay. probably pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. The one where Laura drew her best. Oh. That fox was crunk. I like how its nose just looked like a normal person. <laughs> that was so bad. That was the best part. Oh, God, that was so bad. Can we have that fox on a t-shirt? <laughs> No. God. Is that a boob? <laughs> it's really not in the middle. Hang on. I want a decoupaged fox drawing. <laughs> A fox with a dirty fern. Boob. Tit. Solar system. Nipple. Third eye. Target. We've got target. It was a target. How come it really doesn't look like too, too much like a target? I think it does. What am I missing? I think you did it. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. You were a hard one. I feel like I did. I feel like Fox was kind of hard for her. Yeah. yeah that's, that was obvious. Target was easy, though. Give her something else. Okay, you get one more. Oh. Okay. Okay, one more. Is this mine? The one on the thing was mine. Oh, that one's yours. Sorry. Now you, I've got cooties. The glare is exactly in the middle of the tar target. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to not have that glare. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think the outside of the, okay. I've got to get going here. You got to get going. You can do it, Laura. I have faith in you. Stop second guessing yourself. <laughs> well. Draw big, they said. Okay. That's lovely. That's out of mm -hmm. the picture. That is? Yeah. Oh. Romantic. Heart. Cupid. It's Valentine. They got it. <laughs> you took pity on me. <laughs> they got it. No. Yay. That wasn't very hard. <laughs> Do you want to draw? No. Good job. Yay! You did it. I did it. Oh God, it's over. Unless you want to keep going. <laughs> no, you. It's your turn. Are you sure? Yes. You could keep doing it. It's your turn. It might be fun. Give me one more. Oh, she's liking it. See, she Get likes it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. That's your word. You have to. No. You have to. No. Yeah, that's it. That's your last one. After that, you don't have to do it anymore. That's your word. Go for it. Oh, Lord. Laura is on fire. She's getting into it now. What is it? Oh, I lost it. Oh. I don't know where it, oh, oh my no. God. I dropped the cards. They're asking for me next. Oh, are you gonna draw? Maybe. I'm gonna find one really hard. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I can't wait. Ruth Ann, you're stern. That's right. Stern. Man, fox, grumpy, alien, 
Mike Tyson, Cottage, Grumpy, Cottage. Charlie Cottage. Brown. People are so funny. Have you ever seen the Gosh. commercial with the sloth playing Plant Pictionary? That's funny. My Uncle Tim, Alien, Babyface, Sad, <laughs> Bald, The Grimace, Ed Asner, Balding, Bald, Bald, George Costanza. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it, but I don't want to jump in in front of people. Balding, Old, Carrie got it. What? It's toupee. Toupee. <laughs> toupee. That's a good toupee. That's such oh, a good toupee. that's so funny. I like how he's really kind of like <laughs> he's not happy. No, you know, nobody that wears a toupee is smiling. <laughs> no, he's really put out about it. Good job, Laura. Thanks. Okay, hang on. Good job, Carrie. Okay. Don't he got a chicken wing on his head. Okay, take it off of there so I can walk in front of I don't want to, like, walk in front of the big screen. Okay. Um, all right, I have to find Nikki one. I've dropped all these cards on the floor is the issue here. Okay, got it. Oh, boy. Oh, you good? Oh, God, are you okay? Yeah, you might need to move that back a little bit to the right. Uh-oh. Which right? That way. Which right? No, the other right. Uh-huh. And keep going. Keep going. That's pretty good. Okay. okay. Yay, Nikki. Woo! Oh, boy. Where's the paper towel? Uh, I don't know. I probably have it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's give Nikki something hard. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. All right. That's your word in the yellow. That is not hard. Really? Really. Okay. Not with these good colors. It makes all the difference. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. That's I funny. can't believe you spit. It was, look, there's spit all over the I, I can't help it. I got really laughy. Oh, that's a lobster. It was, <laughs> it's a it's um abstract. It's an abstract lobster. Yeah. Let me find you another one. Oh, the colors boy. make all the difference because if I didn't have red or pink and blue. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and ginger root with an antenna. Interesting. I do. Oh, look. Mm. Let me have that. Well, that's really hard. I'm sorry. Do I have to do that one? Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. Okay. So far, so good. Jamie says the speed at which she drew that anomaly. <laughs> Did Carrie say everybody's laughing at Carrie? They live in Kentucky. Y'all poor Nikki has never seen an actual lobster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to read them out to you. A stick figure, skinny guy, stick man. Fox. That's it? Archer. How sweater, else did you do that? Wow. Clothes, my ideal weight. Shirt. Tunic. Scarecrow. Karate man. Kimono. Caftan. Boy. T-shirt. Oh, no. Fur coat. Oh, oh, oh. Kimono. My Wait. lady gown. Keep going. Keep drawing. Lady gown. Shirt. Cover up. <laughs> <laughs> Sweater, brown shirt, <laughs> shirt dress, <laughs> lady gown, 
coat, <laughs> sleeve, cotton, jacket, wool, poop, button, dirty shirt. What is that? A dirty shirt. A tampon? That's what he said. Uh, a beaver coat. Mohair. A mink coat. Mink coat. A mink coat. Does anybody know what a mink looks like? Yes, it looks like a weasel. A mink? Yeah. I don't know what a mink looks like. Oh. I just drew any animal. Oh my god. And I just hope for the best. That was that was really good. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do one more? Sure. Oh my gosh, that was funny. I mean, does anybody know what a mink looks like? <laughs> Nikki has never seen a lobster or a meat <laughs> Kind of like a lobster with fur. <laughs> it's like I'm an alien from another planet and I just kind of have a general idea of what things look like on Earth. The initial, the, Danny said, I said it way up there. Okay, you get one more. Oh, so boy. Danny had you covered That's Nikki too easy. earlier than that. Go for it. That's too easy. Okay, you said that about lobster. Well, lobster was pretty easy. That's your, that's okay. your word. Okay. Laura, I'm sorry I spit my wine. I got really tickled. Are you mad at me? Mm -hmm. Knew that you would be. <laughs> she hasn't caught anything yet. Why are you... Ladybug, my whole body, a big ant, a cat, a cow, a cow, a sheep. It's a cow! I'm dying. A cow, a cow. Earth pig. It's Earth a pig. cow. What is Walking that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, God, what is that? I'll also take Walking Earth. <laughs> A turtle. What girl. is it? It's a cow. Oh, my God. something else that Nikki's never seen. <laughs> Nikki, that was great. Thank you. You so did much. a really nice job. Thank you, guys. This has been fun. You're dismissed. You. Come back, Laura. Carrie says I can't even make funny guesses because my brain hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lottie Ward, it always looks better in your head. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Lottie? I mean, Isn't that the truth? truth? Poor cow. <laughs> Elba, nice job? Question <laughs> mark. Jamie said, this actually hurt me. <laughs> Everybody clap for Nikki and Laura <laughs> wherever you are. Oh, yeah. That's the best cow. It looks like an earth walking demon. Earth. <laughs> a walking earth pig. That's my favorite. <laughs> that should be the t-shirt. An earth pig. Oh. Jackie says this is definitely the most fun I've had all week. Right? right? Good. We're it's glad. really good. Oh, Lord. I'm crying laughing so hard I can't <laughs> see the chat anymore. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it's hot in here. It's mm -hmm. not hot in here. I'm freezing. Are you? Yes. Turn up the... I was cold earlier, but... No, I'm trying to keep it cool. I'm okay. You can turn it up. No, I'm trying to keep cool. Nikki, great job. And the life's... And so the life's is priceless. Thanks, everybody. You want to do a few more before we... Yes. Uh -huh. You we might as well end on a better note. Well, I don't know about than, that. Then me and Nikki. You're the <laughs> five five swan Thanks, base. Sue. Too bad we don't have the crazy lamp lady for this like riveting portion of the show. <laughs> yeah. She uh cut out she got while the getting was good. Hey, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I think you'll have fun with this one. If it's cottage or scenery, I don't want to do it. Cottage. That's my favorite thing that's ever happened. Why couldn't I get cottage? She can't do a cottage. I can't do animals. She can't do a cottage. Okay. Which is which one? Which one? Oh, um, this one. Hmm. Okay. But don't don't let them get it too fast. Like like be kind of you know start okay. off harder. Okay. No maybe, more cottages. Maybe don't tell me what to do. 
Maybe that would be nice. Man, you are just brutal tonight. Are we, oh wait, I gotta switch the screens. <laughs> Watch me speed draw that lobster. <laughs> you just really dove in. I'm just I like did. you were like, just like you were just like it was just like flying everywhere. Like ink was flying everywhere. It was all one line. It was just one continuous line of lobster. I have no rubber gloves on. I don't think I'm good about lobster. Like here, let me tell you. I've got I'm it. Not. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Jamie said, piece of cake, easiest thing to draw ever, and then boom, that lobster. <laughs> Eiffel Tower, windmill, windmill. So you're starting out too good. Delft, lighthouse. Delft. Wow. Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah I told, I told uh, Mary Beth, I was like, maybe I could come up with some thrifting words. For flip for Pictionary, she's like, oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch windmill. Oh, looky there, somebody got it. Oh, I got it. Is it Mini golf, miniature golf. You wouldn't listen to me. That's too easy. I told you to like draw like you should draw like obscure things like you should have drawn a dinosaur. You know, all putt-putts have a dinosaur, right? So let me get this straight. You yell at me for not doing cottage correctly, and then you yell at me for doing this too good. Is that about right? Huh? That, that about covers it. <clears throat> Let's see. Can you do that one? Oh, well, sure. Why not? <clears throat> <laughs> she Let's did good. See. Jenny said, of course, she'd draw blue balls. Carrie said, says the woman who drew a man fox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Jamie say? Somebody's saying, great idea, Jamie. Oh, yes. Thriftionary. Right? I thought it was funny, too. She thought it was dumb. That girl. That's a good, that's a good guess. Me. That looks like me. Like what I used to look like <laughs> as a kid. You used to look like a stick figure? <laughs> All laughing aside, I'm glad I made it here tonight. Fat Refines. Thanks, Wendy. Angel. Cleopatra. Choir. I still want a Crunk Fox t shirt. <laughs> Babysitter. Annabelle. Children of the Corn. The 70s. The grudge. Let's see. Um, Laura and a bearded lady. Thanks, Vinny. Pixie hair, lady gown, daughter. No idea. A background singer. You're doing so good. A doll, a daughter, mom and daughter. Strapless dress, puberty, slumber party, carry, girl to woman, twiggy. Mother, mom, lingerie, growing up. You you have more colors this week. Hello, guys. Just got off work. Catherine Fell. Yes. <laughs> we got colors in the mail. Someone sent them to us from Amazon. Nettie. Nettie did. Isn't that funny? Teenager, welcome. Estrogen, beauty pageant, maturity. You guys are getting close. Just not quite there yet. Bathing suit. Role model. You want me to help you? No. I can help you. I'm going to give them like a, I'm going to give them like a visual, like a. No, I've got it. An acting out clue. Don't. Okay. Busty. Curvy. Frumpy. Shapers. You guys are getting closer. 
busty, hourglass figure, curvy. I see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Shapely. Yeah, where is the shapely? Oh, yeah. Shapely. I think we have to be done. I think Very phone, nice. I think my phone just pooped out. Oh, did it? Yep. Your phone died? Yep. Uh-oh. I think we have to be done. <laughs> it was shapely. Very good. That yeah. was a difficult one. D my for, phone just pooped out. D for difficult. D for what? Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Cow. That was Nikki's. Did we do these? <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't okay. save any of the ones that we did. Why? I'm sorry. It was shapely. <gasps> Why are you mad at me all the time? Well, you know you have to save the cards. Maybe that we have to sign them and put them in our well. I our spit all my wine out, laughing at Nikki's <laughs> meat coat. <laughs> it had to be better than my socks. It was a lot. My phone auto-corrected dicks to sucks. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Guys, what a fun night we've had. Auntie Christy, I give tonight's show five swung glass vases. Thanks, Thanks. Auntie Christy. Thanks so much. My lobster is legendary. <laughs> legendary. Mm -hmm. That's it. Earth cow. Mm -hmm. Earth pig. Walking earth pig. <laughs> It really did look like an earth walking. It, did, it, did with, earth. it was more like a walking demon earth. <laughs> walking earth demon. Nothing I ever see again will make me laugh the way. <laughs> Lobster me Bye, laugh. Michelle. Bye, everybody. Bye, Michelle. Okay. Chernobyl. Chernobyl Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> oh, God. I hate to go. We're having so much fun, but we've been on here a long time. I know. Okay. At least you don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe we should just spontaneously go live again sometime like Monday or something. <laughs> we might have to. That might be good. So a special thanks to Nettie. I know she's not on here, but she, she bless her heart, she came on early, like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and left her thumbs up and said that she couldn't make it tonight. Yeah. So special thanks to Nettie. Nettie, if you watch this later, thank you so much for the colors. And I will be sure and thank you the next time that I see you in a chat. Yes. And we didn't do anything patriotic. We should have, like, ended. Your, your phone died. We could have ended, like, with the red, white, and blue, you know, yeah. something patriotic. Fourth of July. Everybody, have an awesome holiday weekend. We need animal merch with the lobster in the box. Those of you who are overseas watching or in Canada, happy, and the cottage. happy fourth anyway. <laughs> Let's make a shirt that has the cottage and the lobster and the fox. Actually, I could just say that. The cottage, the lobster, and the fox. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tanya says, I would so buy a shirt with any of those drawings on it. Jamie says, thank God you had red colors for that lobster. It wouldn't have worked. Yeah, last week I didn't have red. Right. So. And the crunk. And the earth pig. <laughs> God, that is so bad. It is so crunk. <laughs> the lobster was so crunk. Yeah. And the fox. And the earth pig. The walking earth pig. She's cracking up over there. <sighs> All right, friends. We're going to get off here. If you haven't given this video a like yet, I really would implore you to do so because I might cry myself to sleep later with all the thumbs down that we should I have. doubt. I bet we won't get it. I bet it won't be so bad. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if you are a winner tonight, make sure you send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Our information is in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. We hope you have an awesome holiday weekend. We appreciate you so much. <laughs> yes. So much. Happy Independence Day. Yes. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Have fun. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> and make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.